Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon's Crown. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we had a couple of quests that we had to go on. One involves uh, mounting a giant lizard and or feline and using it to kill like 10 other creatures, which is very possible. Uh, and the next one, which involves going into some underground labyrinth to help a dude. We ain't interested in that just yet. I just want to go These down are here. These the ruins of the ancient capital city. It was destroyed following an invasion from the northern empire. Kitty! Now it is a dangerous so, place. So, want to knock it down. And wipe it. There we go. Wait, was that knock it down? I just want to knock it down, and that will be enough. I don't know where the random ass uh, adventurer came from, but I'm annoyed with it. There should be a prompt that tells me, hey, this is the button you want to press. I forget, was there? Tables, gate, okay. Don't have to run across the place all all the time. It's just, it's fun. Now, once I get said mount to actually work, then it's all a matter of being able to actually kill ten things These before the, of the, ancient capital the ten city. things have killed my beasts. Following an invasion from the northern empire. All right, come on. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha Two. Three. Four. <laughs> I am having way too much fun with this every cat. Look at this thing. This thing's a beast and I love it. Really? All right, I'm I'm not going to be opposed to an Amazon joining the party. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having way too much fun with this giant saber cat. What? I'm not, not even all that concerned with loot at this point. I just want to murder these things. There we go. Behold, Rennie. Look at this beast. This fine specimen of animal. I mean, I'm more partial bears myself, but still, this is awesome. Ooh, my. Rawr. Oh, I wonder if I could ride this sucker all the way to the wyverns. Please tell me I could ride this sucker all the way to the wyverns. I'm glad I can also at the least pick up uh, treasures while doing this. I'm not going to get many experience points. I'm not really doing the adventure right now for the experience points. I'm quite clearly doing this adventure part for... Uh, the murder of... Where the hell were you on that one, Evelyn? Dang it. Thank you. I could have sworn I hit that one. Dang it. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. That's how I hit it. Can I not eat while on a fi while on a beast? I'm gonna guess I can't eat while on a beast. Okay, I think the fish moved on on its own. I'm not opposed to this. Runny, there be loot. Collect it. There are in fact enemies. Two of them. There were two of them. And then there were five. And then there were none. I know I can run this entire time with this cat, but come on, this is just awesome. I got it. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This imposing figure. Ready. 
I command you to open these chests. Oh, yes. I shall worry about the scorpions that shall appear. Evelyn, are you even concerned about the scorpions at all? All right, let's get going. I probably forgot something in there. I don't care. I got freaking Saber Cat. They're here. I'm sorry, who's here? I mean, I think I ran over a lizard folk on my way. But then we got promptly mauled by a cat. Yeah. Enemies. Brenny, work on that. Oh, I could get the... Nah, I'm too attached to this cat now. Look at this cat. This is a big cat. This is my cat. Oh, mounts for allies. Cool. She, too, now has a mount. Although I think she is far less... Um comfortable on that lizard than I am on this here oh freaking feline. Oh my. Yoink. Ah. <sighs> At least we are making some money though. <laughs> Tell my wife. Hello. I like it. All right. Wyvern time? Wyvern time. This guy does actually quite a bit of damage to him. Holy crap. Oh no! You hurt my kitten! One moment. Let me grab the appropriate thing to make this mad. Whoop! Whoop! Whoop. Oh, I want those. Oh, I can ride that. Okay. I was about to say, I can totally ride that track list. Nope. Fear my bombs. And my hammer. Okay, this is the third time I've taken out these wyverns. This region has regressed to primeval times, an era when reptiles ruled the world. I barely got anything worth it that time, I think. Except a level up. Level up is very worth it. You've completed the quests, Beastmaster. Oh no, some of this might actually be good. Ah, uh, level seven stuff. But none of it is even B rank. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and sell it. I want stuff that's at least B. S would be the best. That's why there's an S in best. As my canonical reason, and you can't prove tell me otherwise. Wondering one, how can I help you? May they bye, -bye rest Jed. In peace. I ain't that worried about the uh, the dead at this point. I really am not. I am worried about my equipment. Which... I have a... Yeah! New hammer! That is a substantial increase. That is why you go for the A gear. Not even joking. I know that you can also carry uh, multiple things within a singular arena. Shortcuts speed. Oh, shortcuts! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, shortcut. Shortcut setting. Oh, I gotcha. So I could press L1 and triangle to automatically equip my steel hammer. Or up, or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to remember buttons. 
Because there's nothing to. Sorry. Just gonna. <clears throat> gonna get these repaired. Uh. So pretty much I can go. Which one do you want? Uh, I want you to fix it all, please. Thank you. Pretty much I can set it so as I can do it on. Do something on triangle. Bombs. My bombs should go on triangle. That shit does a load of damage. I could, in theory, do... Um... Circle? But, again, circle is my, um... Power smash Back thing. Again, eh? Yes, indeed. 500 gold, 1,500 experience points, and a skill point. Well, hello. Dark Elves are antisocial by nature, even amongst themselves, a trait which ultimately led to their demise at the hands of other races. Surviving Dark Elves were forced from their lands by other Elves, and mostly reside underground. Without a large central population, it's unlikely that future generations will inherit and carry on their customs. However, some individual Dark Elves still wander the land, using their magic to dominate violent beasts. You have the potential to be a beast tamer, a very powerful skill. Keep your bloodline going so you can spread this power to your descendants, the Dark Elves tells you before departing, never to be seen again. Cool. Just really damn good art. I love it. Alright, that's that quest, so let's learn some skills. So since we're level 7, I don't remember if anything actually opens up to us. Can I get more bombs? Not till 8, damn it. Uh, frenzy. I I am. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the lethal fists. Mostly. Oh, I could take it again. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. Now, can I take the more health to wealth? Ooh. Additional vitality. And health to wealth. Wealth to health. You know what I mean. So, let's go to that labyrinth and help a dude out. 355. Whee! That eagle dive, yo. I'm kind of tempted to remove my character's name, uh, my name from over my character. I mean, it's good to have a place, no knowledge of where your placement is, but eh, it's annoying, man. This underground labyrinth is said to have been made in a single night. Ooh. Mages. It's a dangerous place, replete with traps. It bars entry to all who would dare. I don't even know what some of this is. I have a feeling I should have used my axes. Oh man, these things are actually taking blows. Hi, you Evelyn. Oh my. Yeah, do that thing, Evelyn. Where you kill things. No, I needed that. I needed that far more than you did. Oh, that's... Oh, this... Oh, this isn't a trap at all. I don't know what you're talking about. This is perfectly safe. Oh, yes. Oh, that's gonna be a big treasure, though, ain't it? The trap was sprung, and the door magically closed fast. Hey, who called that it was gonna be a trap? Was that me? I think I called it was gonna be a trap. The torch on the wall could be used to great effect. I bet it could. The clink of metal hitting the ground can be heard. Key. You obtain a magic key to open the door. Key. Can you? Can you now? I wonder if I actually have to work. You know what? Let's leave. This chamber is bupkis. Uh. 
Evelyn, you appear to be glowing. Enemies. Several of them. Now, one of the cool things about this game, too, is that there is crossplay. So you could, say, play with your PS4 friends if you were to decide to play this with someone that is competent and not an NPC. This is, of course, assuming that you have PlayStation Plus, but, you know, good chance if you got PlayStation 3 or 4, you got PlayStation Plus. I don't have PlayStation Plus. I'm antisocial. A mouse darts out and leaps onto your palm. The rodent claims to be the apprentice of Wallace the Magician. All right, then. He says he was tasked with caring for the laboratory while Wallace was gone. But it is beset by malevolent magic users. Of course it is. When you ask about Lucane, the apprentice answers that his master's friend went into the labyrinth and hasn't returned. Your quest to find Lucane is delayed as you attempt to liberate the lab for Ricky the Magician's apprentice. The door to the laboratory is through this hall. I bet it is. It's my turn. Open up. Ooh, more bombs. One bomb. Alright, we might as well try to cap this this here door. Oh, he leveled up. I don't know what it means when Rinny levels up. Oh hi. You seem to be a magician. I'm here to rectify that situation. Ow. Huh. Where'd my hammer go? Oh, there we are. Wait. Equip. Why do you know equip my hammer? Hello, what's this? Oh, there it is. Never mind. I'm smart. It's my turn. Simple. I didn't even realize that I threw them. I did not press uh, circle at all. Oh, no. So this is a puzzle of some sort. One that I definitely remember having tried to solve in my youth and having not because I have no clue what the hell. Also because the NPCs kept on stepping on the buttons. I'll figure that out later. Open. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh my. Because the laboratory was being misused, no. some of the experiments housed within have now run a knock. Uh huh. A population explosion of mutated beings that spread their spores. The labyrinth is overrun by fungi. Excuse me, they're called myconids. Get your DD stats ring. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I'm, I'm the freaking DM most of the time, so. It's all up to interpretation of your character. Um, ooh, hello. Can we chop up this more? Or do we have to burn it? There's a torch. Yeah, there we go. Rainy. Thank you, buddy. And spiders? No more mic nicks. Okay. Yep. Being poisoned sucks. But having that thing sucks even more. Ooh, crap. Would you kindly all just die? Not you! Hi, Evelyn! 
For the record, by the way, whenever I think Evelyn, I think Dice Gamer Actions Evelyn, the Paladin. By the loud Lathander! Freaking love that show. I miss it. Alright. A little bit of nomming. Wow, you are leveling up rather fast. Franny, please move so I can go through the door. It'd be great of you. What are you? You know what? Don't answer that. Because the answer is dead. Oh, goody. Wasps. Excuse me while I, while I body slam wasps for about five minutes. Oh my god. I just freaking destroyed that one by throwing it to the ground. Okay. So wait, I can grab shit out of midair. Evelyn, you are fantastic. Yes. Do I have to suplex one? Did I poke this? It has been poked. And the poking was worth it. What? Okay, that's some freaking cordyceps shit right there. I hate it. Anyone know what a cordyceps is? Don't look it up if you have, like, some sort of weird, funky hatred of all things fungus. Because that's what it is. It's a it's a freaking fungus, and it's a really nasty it's one. If there's food, it's mine. If there's healing, it's mine. Because if I die, we all die. Oh, crap. I destroyed that Mykonid. Oh. See, usually most of the time whenever I throw something, it's kind of by accident because using the joystick, I almost instinctually always uh, aim upwards with it. So, yeah. Good a lot of the time, I'm going to be throwing shit. Doom Beetle. Oh my lord! Destroy the cocoons before they hatch, or they'll keep coming. Oh, they'll keep coming. Oop. Need my hammers. Okay, destroy out. Evelyn, how you doing, lady? Alright, one more bomb. Hit. I don't know what they're going supposedly going to hatch into, and I don't wanna find out. No, Evelyn. Oh god, it's like that skimmer action all over again. Oh, hey, she even resurrects. Because we all know it's best to deal with a carapace beetle. seem to belong to Lucane in the depths of the labyrinth. The tattered raiments and jewelry leave no doubt that the corpse is indeed Lucane's. Ooh. Two A treasures, you say? <laughs> Those are gonna be mine. Level up. God. You bring back the bones of the magician Lucane. What's up? All right. Which of these spoils was the A ranks? Ow! Spectacles. Okay, I can use the belt. Unbroken light belt. Knockdown resistance, item degradation reduced by 24%. That's awesome. Decrease burning duration by 14%. And we shall sell all the rest. Well, the loot, you see. 
I suppose we ought to see what it is that Liu Kane wants, huh? Alright, to Lucane. the temple. What troubles you, my child? Well, we need to resurrect this guy. That's not Liu Kane. Do I just bring him to the... Also, what's the pray function? Wondering one, pray for a miracle. Stand before the goddess statues, Jula, Althena, and Vernus. These statues have all crumbled. Texts say the goddesses sacrificed themselves to defeat a dragon, which caused their likenesses to degrade as well. Althena, the one in the center, is the goddess of compassion, battle, and odyssey, making her popular with adventurers. If your party falls during your adventure, a prayer to Althena and a tithing of your money will resurrect the party. If you are repeatedly depending on her grace, the amount you must offer for her services will continually increase. Oh. Boost rate of finding weapons and shields. Okay. Can I increase round score during the results? Why not? I'll take that one. Cool. Uh, alright, so I guess we gotta go to Lucane's tower, right? No. But he was dead. You yeah. imagine the fairy will be overcome with grief. When you enter the laboratory, the fairy frantically flits around you, as if it senses your uneasiness. Upon seeing Lucane's bones, the fairy enters into a panic. She begins tugging at your arm to get you to leave the tower. Yeah, okay. I was jumping the gun a little bit. The fairy is apparently attempting to lead you somewhere. You collect Lucane's bones and follow her. Yep, I jumped the gun. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. You nervously hand the monk the bones of Lucane. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is once again given flesh. Lucane, shocked to find himself alive, thanks you profusely. He tells you to visit him at his laboratory and leaves. I like to imagine, based on this picture, Lucane actually woke up with the pipe still in hand, like skeletal and everything as his flesh reconstructed in all. Because that shit's hilarious in my head. The resurrected magician has returned to the old tower in town. You decide to see him to ask more details. I do decide to d see him in the next video though. When we return we'll see what Liu Kane wants and um, who knows maybe we'll get to know more about that fairy but we also got probably have some side quests and stuff to cover as well so I'm gonna do some of that too. In any case thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm loving playing it. Now as always I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.